Well, we have a lucky winner, and no, we're not talking about that huge lottery we've been reporting on this week. We're actually talking about another giveaway. This one, a little closer to home, Stephen. That's right. It's an update to a story we first brought you right here on NBC7 a couple of weeks ago about the San Diego Automotive Museum raffling off a really cool car, Ashley. And we've all been wanting to know and waiting to know who won it. Are you going to tell us now? Soon? No. Aww. Soon. <laughs> Not quite yet. <laughs> Almost, Stephen. Stay tuned. That's my teaser. You got to stay tuned. We'll keep on watching the show. Um, yeah, so this was a really fun story to do. Actually, my photographer, Ange, and I uh, had a lot of fun doing it because we were like, um, we should buy a raffle ticket, see if we can win this. Because when we did the story, they hadn't sold that many raffle tickets yet at the San Diego Automotive Museum. So we were like, hey, our odds are pretty good. We did the story. They raised some more money, so it's a really happy ending here. It looks really good for them. So back to give you a little background on what exactly happened here, like many museums, especially in Balboa Park, the San Diego Automotive Museum was really struggling uh, last year, and they were looking at having to lay off some employees right before the holidays, which of course nobody wants to do that. So they actually went to their display. Uh, they found a car that they could raffle off and make some cash. Take a look. Yes, yeah, so people bought raffle tickets and one lucky person was the winner of this beautiful 1968 Dodge Cornette. Now, just to give you a little more background on why the museum needed to pull from their display to raffle off a car, just listen to this year. Oh, the museum first closed in the middle of March, opened back up in June, closed again in July, reopened in September. Now the brakes are back on and it is closed. So they called us up and we did a news story about their raffle. And it was really incredible to see the response from the community. And yes, there was a lucky winner who won a car by just buying one ticket. Can you believe that? But then, listen to this, he missed the congratulations call. <laughs> Here's some of those details from the museum CEO. I gave him a call that night, uh, right after the drawing. Uh, and I went to voicemail and I was like, man, uh, I, hope, I hope this person calls me back. Uh, and then, you know, we went to sleep and before I woke up, I woke up to a text from James that said, um, are you serious? Yeah, the winner, James, thought it was like a prank call. <laughs> but anyways, he's got a really interesting story about how this all came out. He was actually watching our newscast and his daughter was like, hey, dad, you love classic cars. You should try to buy that. Get that buy. Just win that car, actually. So. We will hear from James and how that all went down coming up in about 30 minutes. For now, reporting live from Harbor Island, Ashley Matthews, NBC7.